the rider, whose is trained faster. They're both carrying the Citrus Berry. Assumedly, they're both going to be running a reasonable amount of bulk. And in order to have that, you need to sacrifice your speeds. So speed control could be pretty crucial here. But for now, it's just going to be Mean Xiao and Calyrex led out against Calyrex and Kefairi. Yeah, two very iconic duos at this point. Two of the best support Pokemon that you can have next to your Calyrex Shadow Rider. And once again, uh, it's so important about the speed and, of course, the order of ability activation can already get these trainers a little bit of extra information. It looks like Shai's Calyrexes as one ability activated first here. Yeah, that, that's going to give you a little bit of comfort there if you see your ability activate first uh, so that you can assume reasonably that you're going to be the faster one. Of course, there's still the potential of that speed type, but Lorenzo's is not going to be faster than Shai's, so that's going to be crucial knowledge going into this already. You have Fake Out active on the Mean Champ, but that would only stop the Clefairy here. You're probably forced into defensive terrestrializations on turn one. Unless you predict, of course, the terrestrial coming out mm, from the true, Calyrex true. of your opponent's side because we've talked about it. The Terra Ferry is so important in this matchup to get rid of that four-time weakness to ghost type attacks. And it looks like, yes, indeed, both players actually are just going for that Terra turn one. Yeah, don't want to risk anything here, just making sure that they will both have a way to, to get into this game one. Yeah, and with the both defense translation, like you mentioned, that does open up the opportunity for a potential fake out into the opposing Calyrex. There is the fake up. No, it was into just the Clefairy there, not wanting to take any sings that could be disrupting completely. And there it is, the Calyrex on Shai's moving first again, this time with the Nast Plot. Mm -hmm. Nasty Plot's all around, so Shai's like, no, faster both of these times, so yep. almost certainly going to be the faster one at this point. Yeah, of course, you could have maybe predicted the terrestrialization to Fairy here on Shai's side, but you also don't want to give that Clefairy an opportunity to go for the Sing, because if your Calyrex is being put to sleep, that's your main way of damage output, and you really cannot let that happen if you're Lorenzo. So now that both of them are set up, um, I think the one advantage that Lorenzo has, he has access to wide guard with his mean Shao. So if Shai wants to make sure to get in some damage, it would have to be that draining kiss. It would indeed, and that is going to be launched off by the mean Shao. Why guy going to keep their the, the side safe from all of the Astro Barrages? Follow me and keep the Calyrex safe from any drain, Draining Kisses that could be coming out instead. Not opting for any things, but yeah, Draining Kiss coming out from Shai's Calyrex. Not falling for that white guard. Going to easily bring that Mean Chow down to its Focus Sash. Uh, whether that's going to be the Astro Barrage bypassing the Follow Me or just the Draining Kiss. No, it is the Astro Barrage. That Follow Me does not affect anything on this turn. Absolutely massive damage coming out. Enough to be able to pick up the knockout on that Clefairy, but thanks to that Friend Guard, the Calyrex will be able to shrug it off somewhere and activate, uh, the, the, bring it down low enough so it can get a munch on its Citrus Berry as well. But no, of course, no, there's the unnerve from the As-1. Yep, exactly. That is actually so crucial in this matchup because with that Citrus Berry, maybe the Calyrex could have taken another one of those attacks. But now, Lorenzo in a prime position. Calyrex got another boost, of course, so at three stages of increased special attack. Now, Shai, of course, has his own Mian Shao to bring out. So, Fake Out pressure is active. Then Mian Shao does not have Fake Out. And the Mian Shao over on Shai's side also has access to Faint. So that could be one way to bypass a potential white guard or protect coming out from Lorenzo. And if Shai can get in a powerful, say, Astro Barrage, Draining Kiss, some knockouts this turn, um, maybe now it's Shai's turn to strike. Yeah, potentially. You've always also got to worry about the fact that Faint could come out, so you can't safely protect. That's yep. probably why Lorenzo is opting for the switch out instead, not playing that fake out Faint mind game in the slightest. Of course, on the switch out, as one has disappeared, and there is the, the activation of the Citrus Berry, getting that recovery on the Calyrex. And is Rillaboom going to be joining the field here? That would be able to shrug off the attacks a little bit better than the Calyrex would, would be able to. Thanks to it carrying that Assault Vest, of course, is going to activate that Grassy Surge. And there's the Fake Out. It was Fake Out into the Calyrex, so it could have gone for the Protect That Fern. Faint is going to be able to come out mm. from Lorenzo's Mean Shell, breaking the Focus Sash on the Mean Shell uh, on Shy's side of the field. And it was Draining Kiss, just in case there was another White Guard. But no, there was no White Guard there. But still, some great recovery going into that really And that's probably going to go back to full HP after that Grassy Terrain recovery. But yeah, definitely crucial to have a look at that. Uh, so the Calyrex over on Shy's side now, back at full HP with that Citrus Berry, with the recovery from Draining Kiss and the Grassy Terrain. And this is what we were talking about. It's so difficult to, to maneuver around in this matchup. Lorenzo here noticing that they had to swap out their Calyrex, even though it was at three stages of increased special attack. Now with the Rillaboom, Fake Out Pressure again on Lorenzo's side. I think Lorenzo might want to keep the Mianxiao around, though, because the White Guard just so important to have. 
especially in some of these late games, and that's exactly what we're seeing. Yeah, you can't just let it drop to a potential feint that could come out from shy side of the field, which would also have the added benefit of breaking any white guards that would have been able to come out. So yeah, smartly saving that Ming Xiao, saving the threat of the white guard that could help keep the Calyrex in check. But it is the Calyrex itself switching in, uh, but not going to take any damage from the Calyrex as the fake out, now that it was a fairy type, was going to be able to stop the Calyrex moving. Feint was the move of choice from the Ming Xiao, could have KO'd the opposing Ming Xiao, but no, the Calyrex just taking a tiny bit of chip here instead. Yeah, so a little bit of a dance here between the Calyrex um, over on Lorenzo's side, switching out, now switching back in. And the question really is, who's got the better end of that sequence of turns? I mean, Shy brought the Calyrex back to almost full HP, now is still boosted from that nasty plot from turn one, whereas Lorenzo had to switch out the Calyrex under the fake-out pressure that we saw, but is up in the Pokemon count. So it's very, very difficult to assess sometimes these situations where one player might have an advantage on the, just on the Pokemon count, but the other player has an advantage with the boosts that they have. So now no fake-out active. I think Shy could probably just go for another white guard. Um, and, and hit with a powerful Astro Barrage. Yeah, definitely could, since the Calyrex on Lorenzo's side is just going to keep itself safe here, uh, but it's not going to keep itself safe. Oh, it no. protects itself, but Fane absolutely bypasses that, breaks that protection very nicely indeed. Grassy Glide fired off into the Mean Shell, not the bulkiest of Pokemon in the slightest, but it's still able to survive, even with the Focus Ash broken. There is that Astro Barrage. It will now hit the Calyrex mm. for absolutely massive damage. Not quite the KO, but it was the KO on that Rillaboom. Yeah, big play here by Shy, calling that protection Protect on the Calyrex of Lorenzo and now getting in so much damage. And now not only does Shy equalize in the Pokemon count three to three, but also his Calyrex is healthy, his Calyrex is boosted and is also faster. So uh, Lorenzo probably would have to, to try and get speed control back in their favor, but it's just it's just so difficult to come back against this boosted Calyrex from this spot. Yeah, this is going to be a very much an uphill battle for Lorenzo at this point. Yes, you do have Fake Out active now that the Mean Shells join the field again, and you may be able to uh, get a feint off if, if you're protecting that Protect as well. But once again, Lorenzo is not going on the offense with the Calyrex. There is the speed control at least. The Tornadus is switching in yep. in the place of Lorenzo's Calyrex, and it is going to be a Fake Out to stop Calyrex on the shy side of the field from being able to go on the offense. And another feint just from the Mean Shell, gonna try and pick off that last little bit on the opposing Calyrex, but no, it just hits the Tornadus. Yeah, nice little bit of a repositioning here from Lorenzo, identifying that, okay, I really have to set up the Tailwind because I need to be faster than this Calyrex. Um, but even with the Tailwind, it's hard to, to think about how, where is the damage coming from? Of course, Lorenzo still has the Calyrex in the back, but it will be unboosted. And yeah, Shy's Calyrex has just seen, been, yeah, so dominant in this game. So Lorenzo, Trying for a wide guard here, but will we see a feint again from Shy? And yet there it is. Feint knocking out the Mian Shao, breaking the wide guard. This looks great for Shy. Yeah, this is a fantastic turn for Shy there. The wide guard's gonna be completely neutralized. Uh, Tailwind is gonna be set by the Tornadus, so yes, the Calyrex on Lorenzo's side of the field will be faster in the coming turns, but that's not gonna matter too much. There is the Astro Barrage that can now hit the Tornadus with that wide guard being broken by the feint. It's single target, it's been boosted loads. It's easily enough to pick up the KO on that Tornadus. Wow, and just like that, Shy has really turned around this game. Once again, Calyrex getting another Grim Nay boost. And now it's only the lonely Calyrex over on Lorenzo's side. Yes, it is in Tailwind, but ah, just barely any HP left. Mian Shao can go for a wide guard, so there is not going to be any Astro Barrage coming out from, from the Calyrex over on Lorenzo's side, whereas Shy still has his Calyrex fully healthy. Um, and I think just a wide guard and Astro Barrage could probably just end this game right here. Yeah, maybe it was in range of feints, but if it wasn't, then may maybe you can get some extra recovery with the Draining Kiss. White Guard is the safest play here. Even if they went for yeah. the Draining Kiss, that wouldn't be enough to recovery to get, uh, allow them to survive. There was the Astro Barrage trying to catch out the fact that there wouldn't be a White Guard, but no, playing it safe on Shy's side of the field. Up in a great position, no need to play risky here. Just the White Guard keeping it safe. There's the Draining Kiss. It's super boosted, but it was a tiny bit of HP on that Cataract. Easily enough for the KO and enough for the game one win for Shy. Yeah, nicely done there by Shy. Maneuvering with just three Pokemon. We didn't even see what the fourth Pokemon was that Shy brought here to this battle and taking the win in game one over. Calyrex was just down in the red and not able to do anything. It wasn't boosted, so it wasn't going to pick up any knockouts. It's going to be Mean Shao and the Calyrex once again coming out for Lorenzo. And yeah, there's the Fairy and Calyrex coming out for Shy, just sticking what worked, it seems. Yeah, it looks like both of the players were actually quite content with how the early turns worked out. So I'm pretty 
Yeah, looking forward to seeing where Lorenzo will deviate from this. Um, of course, you could try and, and go for a prediction here of that um, Terra Ferry again and maybe hit the fake out into the Calyrex, but of course, uh, that could also backfire. So, um, with Singh also being an option for Shy, I guess, um, yeah, Lorenzo really has some incentive here to go for the fake out, stopping like the ferry from, from moving and, and setting up the nasty plot once again. But yeah, Lorenzo has to deviate at some point because, of course, game one didn't go so well for them at all. Yeah, not at all. There is that terrestrialization turn one once again, going into that ferry typing. Uh, it makes perfect sense to be able to terrestrialize in the face of that Astro Barrage that would absolutely be able to pick up a KO here. But that's all it was, just one terrestrialization. It was fake out into the opposing Clefairy. There's the nasty plot coming out from the Calyx that didn't terrestrialize. If this is an Astral Brush coming out from Lorenzo's, that might be able to pick ah. up the knockout, but no, it was just the nasty plot. Fantastic play from Shy there, holding his nerve, not going for the terrestrialization this early. That could have been an Astral Brush, but yeah, got, a, got away with that with the nasty plot. Yeah, the question, of course, would be, is there any other Pokemon in this matchup that he would want to terrestrialize, or maybe can you just go for the terrestrialization turn one anyway, just to be safe. But of course, it works out here for Shy um, as, yeah, kind of the same situation that we've already seen in game one. And what do you think now in the, um in the first game, of course, this turn, Lorenzo went for the knockout on the Clefairy. Is that maybe something that he could try to, um, yeah, not do this turn, to keep the Clefairy around intentionally, just so that Mian Shao over on Chai's side cannot hit the field? Yeah, Mian Shao was so disruptive, but then if you leave the Clefairy, that opens you up for the potential of those things being so disruptive. It was a follow me last time, that yep. didn't come into effect because it was an Astral Barrage. And it's just going to be a repeat again. There's the White Guard going to keep the uh, Calyrex on Lorenzo's side of the field safe from the Astral Barrage, forcing it into a Draining Kiss, mm. which again, it does not fall for the, for the white guard. It is going for the draining kiss once again, bringing that mean shout down to its focus sash. Very nicely done there. But that was not a follow me this time. It looks like the Clefairy will be going for the sing. Yep. It is going to be an Astral Barrage. Whether it's able to take this is going to be actually pretty crucial here. Otherwise, it'll be able to try and get that sing. But no, once again, that boost with the Nasty Plot was enough for it to be able to pick up the knockout on that Clefairy. Yeah, so once again, we're still following the game one. This is the same situation that we have. I mean, of course, Shy made a couple of different moves, not to wrestle not clicking white, not clicking follow me. But in the end, we're coming to the same board state that we had before. And this was the turn where Lorenzo swapped out Calyrex um, because he identified that it was under so much pressure being the slower Calyrex. So I think this is the turn where Lorenzo maybe has to make another play because, yeah, if we're seeing the same sequence of turns play out, then once again, Shy might be able to recover all the health with a citrus berry, with a draining kiss. Um, and then it's just so tough for Lorenzo to, go, to get back in this race. Yeah, I mean, Shy going to keep itself safe on Lorenzo's side of the field. Of course, it was in range of the feint or the fake out uh, that could have been coming out is going to be Rillaboom as an adjustment coming out for Lorenzo. Going to be able to get that fake out pressure once again on the field. Uh, whether the Calyrex is going to keep itself oh. safe. No, it's not. There was the feint, so it's going to be trying to uh, go on the offense here. Astral Barrage launched out. We're going to be bypassing what could have been the white guard with that feint. Is it going to be able to pick up the knockout on the Calyrex? No, it's no. not. Yeah. That is not going to be able to pick up the knockout. There's the draining kiss coming out from Lorenzo's Calyrex, but not into the opposing mm. Calyrex. It's into the mean shout. It's going to be able to get some very good recovery here but that was a potential to go for an Astral Barrage or a Draining Kiss into the Calyrex and pick up that KO. Yeah, definitely a big opportunity here for Lorenzo, who correctly predicts that there was no fake out coming um, into that Calyrex and uses the opportunity to do a lot of damage to the Mian Shao, healing up quite a bit. But the big problem, of course, Calyrex over on Shy's side is still on the field. Yeah, it is. And still going to be able to do, launch some massive boosted attacks once again. It's going to be a bulky Calyrex. Is it going to be in range of the Grassy Glide? It's going to be very close. Yeah, you probably want to protect the Calyrex here just for a little bit more recovery from that grassy terrain. Um, but then that would also mean that the Mian Shao, of course, would likely go down. And this is what we're seeing. Protect over on Shai's Calyrex saying, OK, even if you knock out the Mian Shao, that, that's fine. Um, I trust that the last Pokemon that I'm going to reveal will have what it takes to, to bring me back in this game. Yeah, it's a fake out into the protecting Calyrex on shy side of the field. Just a tiny bit of chip from the feint into the opposing Calyrex before it is knocked out to this Drain Kiss that's easily going to be able to pick up with a knockout on that 9 HP Mean Shao. Yeah, just a little bit of extra recovery, but in those Mura kind of situations, every HP matters. Yeah. So we've already seen Shy's last Pokemon is going to be that Fluttermane. We haven't seen it come out in the first game, but it's presumably going to be um, a speed boosting variant. So will outpace both the Rillaboom and, of course, more notably, the Calyrex over on Lorenzo's side. And then, of course, you could go for maybe an Icy Wind and Astro Barrage if that is enough to knock out Lorenzo's Calyrex. But then, of course, um, once now or now that Lorenzo rather has the advantage and just in terms of um, Pokemon count, um, 
I think you could maybe just go for Protect on the Calyrex, play it safe, and then bring in one of your support casts to finish this job. Yeah, if that's the support cast of the last one of being Tornadus again, uh, this looks actually pretty solid for Lorenzo. You can just protect your Calyrex. You can go for a Wood Hammer or Brassing Glide into the, into the opposing Calyrex. Wood Hammer would definitely pick up the Knockout. In order to stop that, you need to KO the Rillaboom, which will allow the switch into the more Tornadus, which will go for Tailwind, and then suddenly Astral Barrage wins the game. So, uh, assuming if that is Tornadus yep. it, like, waiting in the back like it was in that previous game, this looks like a fantastic position for Lorenzo. Yeah, it could be one of those situations, though, where um, you're predicting the Protect coming out, and you could just try and play a little bit defensively just to to um, yeah, lower the chance of a, succeed, a successful Protect um, in a row. Uh, but that's not what we're seeing. Instead, Lorenzo will go ahead, protect the Calyrex from any damage, is fine losing the Rillaboom this turn. We'll go for a Grassy Glide, but it barely does not knock out the Calyrex. But the question is, does it even matter? Moonblast now hitting into that Calyrex. Yeah, you don't even need the Icy Wind if you're naturally faster anyway. And Astro Barrage will get the knockout on Rillaboom. This means another boost of Grimnay for the Calyrex. But then the important question, of course, is which Pokemon will Lorenzo send out? Yeah, if it's that Tornadus, that's just Tailwind Astro Barrage, and that should send us into that game three. If it's not the Tornadus, you probably need to bring the Mean Shell back in to be able to put on some pressure with the Fake Out into the opposing Calyrex. Probably out of range of Fake Outs and Faint at this point, thanks to that little bit of grassy terrain recovery. But then that would allow you to go for that massive Astro Barrage very, very safely. And yeah, there is the uh, Tornadus. So this is almost certainly just going to be that Tailwind Astro Barrage and send us into that game three. Yeah, well done by Lorenzo and Shai also recognizing that this is a position that he cannot play out of. So I played this match up a few times because it does seem like a very common team here over in Italy. There's the Mean Shell Calyrex once again for Lorenzo. Yep. There's that Calyrex and Clefairy. They just swapped sides this time <laughs> on Shai's side of the field. So we might get some more repeat. But then at the same time, we've still seen mul like multiple different plays going uh, for like no terrestrialization coming from Shai. Yep. If there is a terrestrialization, that opens up the opportunity for fake out, or you can just not terrestrialize lies again if you go on the offense for the Astral Barrage that would be able to pick up the KO as well so this could be a, a, a completely different turn on this game three. Yeah and a little bit of an adaption that Shai is going to make now we already saw that the Clefairy this time is going for the Protect and based on the damage that we've seen the Fake Out do on Clefairy in the previous couple of turns maybe that little bit of chip damage is just enough to get the Clefairy into KO range of that plus two boosted Astro Barrage so yeah once again a slight adaption by Shai but let's yep. see how it plays out. Yeah, and it's a very reasonable uh, assumption there that the Clefairy might be able to live the plus two nasty plots, uh, as boosted Astral Barrage, and that Fake Out would have been enough chip. That might force the Mean Chow into faint into that Clefairy on the next turn. We're seeing terrestrializations from both of these uh, Calyrexes coming out here. Obviously does open up the opportunity for a Fake Out to go into that now Fairy-type Calyrex, or to maybe going for the Clefairy to stop those things that are coming out. But of course, that's going to be a Protect coming out from the Clefairy. It's going to be a Fake Out, but it was oh. once again into that Clefairy's Protect. So another potential opportunity that could have been a fake out into that fairy type Calyrex. Of course, loves to go for the nasty plot on the turn one. We're yep. seeing it come out from Shy side of the field. Are we going to see a repeat nasty plot once again? Yep, it's nasty plots all around in this first turn of all three games. Yeah, so once again, Lorenzo doesn't want to go down the route of allowing this Clefairy to potentially go for the sing, flip the coin, um, and is instead saying, okay, I really want to use the fake out to stop it from moving. I don't want to care too much about your Calyrex. We're both getting set up. This already happened in the second game as well, but there, Lorenzo, of course, coming out on top, but now the slightest difference here, having just a little bit more HP on the Clefairy. This could make a difference here in this matchup. Yeah, and this White Guard once again being scared of the Astro Barge, but no, three times, Shai does not fall for that White Guard, going for the Draining Kiss to bring the Mean Shao down to its Focus Ash once again. And like you mentioned, the fake out didn't get extra chip onto the opposing Clefairy here. It is going to be the Astro Barrage, but no, it's going to be at full HP. Is it able to survive here? If it does, it might be able to launch off a Sing, and oh. no, it is still going to be able to be KO'd by that plus two Astro Barrage. So the fake out chip, not necessary there. We're not going to see any Sings on this on this turn. Yeah, so Shy taking a little bit of a risk there, I would say, with the Protect turn one, but it, then here it doesn't quite play out, of course. Um, well, the Calyrex isn't as fast over on Lorenzo's side, but then maybe it's a little bit more offensive than yep. what Shy would have expected. Um, so yeah, once again, you called it Lorenzo there three times just wanting to protect the Calyrex with that wide guard. And once again, Shai going for the Draining Kiss, but because the Clefairy was knocked out, I don't think it was that bad here for Lorenzo this turn. Yeah, we still get the, the repeat of here comes the Mean Shell with Faint and Fake Out pressure activated once again, uh, whether Shai wants to go for once again the Fake Out into that one HP Mean Shell to pick up the KO, break any wide guards that could be coming out 
out as well, because of course it has that added benefit too. Yeah, and you can see Shy hesitating. This is the crucial turn potentially of this best of three set. Once again, the question is, do you go for the fake out and potentially draining kiss to, to bypass a potential white guard? Or do you go for the feint and Astro Barrage? So let's see here. Uh, the timer is ticking down, only a couple of seconds left. And it looks like... Yeah, when it, Whoa, we're, we're going to be? Gonna see. Obviously, Fake Out and Feint are both very strong moves to be able to go for. But Mean Xiao, once again, switching out. Not going to want to be KO'd to a potential Fake Out or Feint. There's the Rillaboom. Once again, going to shrug off any Fake Out or Feint very comfortably indeed. Oh, it's going to have to see if Calyrex is going to be protecting here. But it's a very, very risky oh. in the face of a potential Feint. But yeah, yep. it was a Protect from the Calyrex here. Is it going to be a Feint coming out from the Mean Xiao? It is, but oh, it's into the Rillaboom instead. So it doesn't break the Protect coming out from that Calyrex. So at least you're going to still get this boosted Astro Barrage into the Rillaboom. Yep. Oh, but if that feint would have gone into the opposing yeah. Calyrex, that would have been massive damage. Yeah, this could have been game ending, honestly. But now instead, we're, we're seeing a little bit of a, I would say, like middle ground play. Like, yes, like we, we called or, or I said that this might be the decisive moment of the battle. I don't think we've seen the decisive moment just yet because, yeah, with a play that Lorenzo made, just playing a little bit defensively, but not being um, fully punished there by Shy. Um, instead now, Rillaboom joining the field. Calyrex still healthy for Lorenzo. So now fake out pressure once again in Lorenzo's court um, and could try to, to hit either Pokemon, uh, potentially yeah, break the focus dash on the Mianxiao, maybe draining Kiss, or if you predict the Calyrex to not go for the Protect, you could go for the fake out and attack into Calyrex. So uh, this is once again a very, very crucial turn for both players. Yeah, whether the Calyrex protects on, Calyre uh, on Shy's side of the field is going to be so impactful here, whether that fake out is launched into it or not, and then the attacks are going into it. And you can see but like the trainers are taking all the time that they can to be able to work out what play they want to go for. It seems like it's wide guard for Shy side of the field. Yep. So no Astro Barrage is going to be able to come out on Shy side of the field. It would have to be draining kiss from Lorenzo. No Grassy fake out. No fake out at all. So Grassy glide instead, breaking the focus sash on the opposing Rillaboom. There's the Astro Barrage coming out from the Calyrex on Shy side of the field. Of course, that's going to pick up the knockout on the Rillaboom. We've already seen it does not pick up the knockout on the opposing Calyrex here. Is it going to be an Astro Barrage into the wide guard? Or is it going to be a draining kiss? Of course, you're going to get that boost to the Calyrex for Shy from the Grim Day. It is draining. Kiss coming out. But is it going is into the Calyrex? It's no, it's going into the Mean Shell once again. Shy has uh, got away with it. He's still got his boosting yep. Calyrex. Big play there by Shy. Not going for the Protect, predicting that his opponent would go after the Mian Shell. Uh, one interesting play that Lorenzo actually could have made here potentially was going for a fake out into the Mian Shell, which some of you might now think, okay, that's why would you do that? It has inner focus. Um, <laughs> why would you use fake out on that Pokemon? But then Calyrex would have recovered a little bit more HP, of course, with that draining kiss because yeah the grassy glide doing so much damage to the Mian Shao already meaning that the draining kiss just recovered just a little bit and last Pokemon for Shy this time around it is that um, Chi Yu not a Pokemon we've seen in the previous game because yeah there we had that situation Tornadus coming on the field next to the Calyrex and then it was Tailwind plus Astro Barrage now with the Chi Yu this cannot happen as easily no it can't so that's a very nice adaptation for the Chi Yu that obviously the Tornadus is coming in going to be able to get that speed control for the opposing Calyrex but maybe the, the, the Chi Yu would be in range of draining kiss here because you've still got so many boosts on the uh, Calyrex over on Lorenzo's side of the field, but it protects on both mm. Calyrexes here. Uh, the Tornadus could easily just set the tail in like yep. it is doing. So the Calyrex on Lorenzo's side of the field is going to be able to outpace Shy's Pokemon for the rest of uh, these turns. Overheat was launched off into that protecting Calyrex here. So the Tornadus is still able to survive as well. But now Lorenzo has a massive advantage yep. because the Calyrex just protected. Exactly. Uh, and is it going to be in range of Astral Raj for sure, even with the help of the Beads of Ruin? Yeah, so Pizza Ruin potentially working here against Chai, but no, Calyrex fails the double protect, and this means Lorenzo's Calyrex will throw out another one of these powerful Astro Barrage, and with the help of Pizza Ruin is enough to get the knockout on the Calyrex. Chiyu still hangs in there, but Tornadus will follow up for Lorenzo. Well, assumedly, Bleak Windstorm, of course, has that shaky accuracy, but I don't think it would matter too much at this point. It would just speed things up a bit. Of course, the As-1 disappeared now, so we can get some Citrus Berry recovery for Lorenzo's side of the field. Not gonna matter too much, here. Of course, you're getting more boosts here. We're still waiting to see if the Bleak Wind Storm connects. Uh, no, not quite. We'll have to wait a little bit extra uh, for that to be the case. But yeah, there's the overheat. At least Shy does be able to not even take care of this Calyrex. It's so bulky. It's even able to survive a, a piece of ruin overheat from that Chi Yu. Yeah, just fantastic positioning here coming out from Lorenzo. Being able to get that speed control right at the end. Shy throws in the towel and Lorenzo is able to take this game. Yeah, very well played there by Lorenzo. And we're always talking about the adjustments.